But I must confess that uh, that dream that I had that day has at many points turned into a nightmare, a nightmare, a nightmare. Martin Luther King was born in Atlanta, Georgia in 1929. Young Martin loved books and education. He loved them so much that he was skipped twice in high school and entered the prestigious Morehouse College at only 15 years of age. While studying for his doctorate degree in Boston University, Martin met Coretta Scott. The two would get married in 1953. Martin and Coretta would later go on to have four beautiful and gifted children. Rosa Parks' arrest led to King being chosen to lead the bus boycott movement. Because of his involvement in the movement, King's home was bombed, almost killing his wife and daughter. King's younger brother, A.D. King, had his home bombed as well. A few years later, King was stabbed at a book signing event. The blade's proximity was so close to King's heart that doctors feared he would die if he sneezed. The violence that King encountered did not stop his plan to integrate America. His protests would quite often lead him directly to jail. All we say to America is be true to what you said on paper. And so just as I say we aren't going to let any dogs or water hoses turn us around, we aren't going to let any injunction turn us around. Got to get this over. I need help. I need some victories. Dr. King started gaining small victories, which led him to his greatest moment. He received global attention for his I Have a Dream speech. And then the nightmare began. King decided to go to the northern city of Chicago to try to gain attention to unfair housing policies. King lived in the ghetto for a few weeks to try and understand the conditions of the poor in Chicago. King delivered a speech at Soldier Field, requesting everyone to stay nonviolent. We are trying to conduct a nonviolent movement here in Chicago. <laughs> King was met by an angry, racially charged mob. The behavior of the mob shocked King. He never expected this coming from Northern whites. King's ability to gather people together led FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover to launch a 24-hour surveillance of Dr. King. The FBI sent threatening tapes and letters to King's home. One of the letters suggested that King commit suicide.
America freed the slaves in 19, I mean 1863 through the Emancipation Proclamation of Abraham Lincoln, but gave the slaves no land or nothing in reality. At the same time, America was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest, which meant that there was a willingness to give the white peasants from Europe an economic base. After being jailed, bombed, stabbed, and harassed, it finally happened. I have some very sad news for all of you, and that is that Martin Luther King was shot and was killed tonight in Memphis. Could mean the world's disaster Could change your joy and laughter I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Don't delay. Send yours in right away. Hate's going around. Breaking many hearts. We've got some difficult days ahead, but it really doesn't matter with me now, because I've been to the mountaintop. But I want you to know tonight that we have 